Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are at the Exo Bistro and Bar in downtown Edmonton, Alberta. Today we're here to do their Exo Fu Challenge. This is an absolutely massive Fu Challenge. We have three different meats being raw beef, we have their flank, we also have their pork meatballs, all with their noozles and broth made in house. Total weight is about nine pounds. Um, so it's a big one, that's for sure, but it looks really good. We have 40 minutes to complete it. If we do so, it is free. If not, we pay 60 bucks. So with that, let's get to it here momentarily. Of course, if you're not familiar with my good friend Scott Watkins, also known as Scott Eats, definitely check him out. Great eater. He's gonna probably crush me today. He loves pho. Me. So we good. So that everybody, let's tune in, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started here. Looks good. Scott's favorite. So with that everybody, let's get started. We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Okay. It tastes like fuck. I'm not rushing, by the way. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at ExoFa doing the ExoFa challenge. So for this challenge, essentially it was about total pounds, or sorry, total weight of nine pounds. You had about five pounds of solids and then four pounds of liquids in the bowl. Um, overall, it was very, very tasty. The only meats in here were the flank, you had the raw beef, um, and then you, rare beef, and then you had the meatballs. What was different compared to the other fudge challenges that I've done is this one didn't have the tripe or tendon, um, which was actually my preference. Some people do like the tripe, some people do like the tendon. I am not the biggest fan of them. They're not the worst thing in the world, but I prefer not. So I actually enjoyed this fudge challenge a little bit more than I normally would. I am aware that the camera angle is not fully optimal, so I do apologize for that, but I promise you, you'll still be able to very much follow along with the challenge, and we'll give you some updates. I also included, um, after this voiceover piece, um, basically the raw volume of the challenge is a lot of people are like, hey, just kind of play the challenge as it is. So it's still gonna have music and stuff, but you're able to kind of get a feel and understanding um, what it's like to see a challenge more uh, like live. And um, as again, you'll hear some of our eating, they just kind of hear our eating, hear some of the background noises, hear some of what the uh, comments that people made, et cetera, et cetera. So for those who have been wanting that for a long time, I hope you enjoy that. There was a previous record on this challenge, um, which was about 40 minutes, I believe. Um, so very, very close to the actual um, like finishing time or the time limit of this challenge. So of course we were going to try to beat that, see what we could do. They had these awesome little uh, aprons that we put on and then we're wearing the tank tops. Why we wear a tank top for pho? It's actually a strategic move. Um, pho is very, very hot. You're eating like boiling liquids, um, and there is uh, uh, like just a lot of hot items, like all the noodles are full of just broth. And because of that, it raises your internal body temperature. So that's why generally when we do fat challenges, we try to wear tank tops or something to help us remain cool. Uh, makes it a little bit easier as getting very, very hot it makes it does make it a little bit more difficult to eat this much food, especially at a very quick pace without slowing down. Um, that's pretty much most of the insight. Um, I'll have maybe a few more notes here, um, but I will leave you to it for just one second and then we will get back to business. Is there a record? What? Yeah, the only other thing I'll mention is, so like Scott really loves noodle challenges, he really likes pho challenges and pho as a food. I'm not the biggest fan of it myself, um, but I will say, like I said, this was the my most enjoyable pho challenge to date. Um, both just the tastes of it were really good, and then again, I like that it didn't have the tripe or the tendon in it. Uh, at least, you know, again, just for the challenge, I'm sure you could get those in it if you wanted it for your normal pho, but I preferred it without. Um, we didn't have to put any other sauces in it as well. I found this just very fresh. Um, I found it very nice tasting. I find some of the pho that I've had in the past very, very, very light tasting. This was not that way. This one had a really nice um, flavor and a solid flavor, which I found kind of just made it a little bit more enjoyable, helped it along the way. Um, as you know, essentially we shove ourselves full of noodles. Um, but at that, that is all I have to say. So again, the old record was somewhere about 40 minutes. So let's hopefully beat that record. See what we can do as we eat these nine-ish 
bowl, uh, nine-ish pound bowls of pho. Um, and if we did win it, we're not only get the meal for free, but also a t-shirt. I forgot to mention the t-shirt. So let's tune on in and see what we can do. Hopefully we can get it and uh, let you get the rest of the video. About five and a half minutes in, it's going well. Nice bowl of pho, Scott's crushing it. I'm not doing too bad. Just keep her going and maybe we'll get some new records. I think the old record's about 40 minutes. Straight from the ball. And we're done. Woo. Just under nine minutes for myself. Scott literally has a couple of was left, finishing up. Oh, yeah, I'm sweating. I don't usually sweat after challenges, but 
It's a lot of hot liquid, a lot of hot food really quickly, but it was actually really good. For a fun challenge, I really enjoyed it. We got some new records. This guy's about to crush this one, and for that, we, we'll both get our fun for free. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> I like this bib, it's a good idea. The manager here is super cool, by the way. Really friendly guy. Nice uh, job. All right, just under 10 minutes there. <coughs> Whew, 940, don't kid yourself. All right, everybody, so that is that. So we finished up both two new records here. Crushed the old one about 40 minutes. So yeah, really good tasting pho. Definitely, if I was in the downtown Edmonton area looking for pho, stop on by. Manager here is super cool as well. Tell them you saw the video of those two crazy guys eating the pho challenge. You might have a good laugh at it. But at that, I enjoyed it. We get the meal for free, which is cool. I would be back. So yeah, downtown Edmonton, thank you very much. Some good old pho, XO Bistro, and uh, what'd you think of it, Scott? It was really tasty, yeah. Um, I would come back for sure, and uh, the staff was good, uh, the food was good, So and it's a great location. Yeah, no complaints? Yeah. So everybody, thanks for watching. Of course, never do a to, but of course, at that, please stay happy, healthy, hungry. And of course, until next time, happy eating. Woo! Woohoo! Job, brother. For winning, we got a really cool shirt. It says, Unforgettable Challenge XO. And on the back, I like this. This is a really cool saying. I got 99 problems, but eight pounds of pho ain't one. So it has been years since I've been at West Edmonton Mall, which if you're not familiar, is an absolutely massive mall in Edmonton. And they have this massive whale statue that I very much used to go in as a child. I will show you this whale. It is a big, like, I don't know, I don't know what it's made of, brass? I think it's brass whale. Anyway, it's pretty cool, barnacles. I'll show you here a better look. There's his tail back there. He goes through the ground. Yeah, barnacles. There's like his mouth. There's his eye. It's a big, big whale. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I mean, we might as well just go in the, in the mouth for old time's sake. Ugh. Ugh. This is probably not COVID friendly or sanitary, but. There you go, we're in the whale. All time's sake, had to do it. There we go, I came out the whale. <laughs> so this is Galaxy Land. This is the amusement park, which is inside of West Edmonton Mall. Obviously, unfortunately, it's closed due to the whole pandemic situation, but I really wish it was open because I would love to go there for old time's sake. Last time I was there, was very, I was very little and I was there for my birthday. And then they also have a water park here in West Edmonton Mall, which is massive and really good quality for what it is. Again, I would go if it was open, but pandemic, but Galaxy Land, I forgot all about it. Crazy, this mall. And then what I also forgot about is there's a freaking ice rink in the mall here. So here's a big ice rink just in the middle of the mall. And look, they have these lit fake trees and stuff. and. I remember there used to be an EB Games right by this thing and I used to go there as a kid, but this is crazy. Like, an ice rink in a mall, it just goes how big this thing is. It's the size of 20-something football fields or something. It's, it's pretty crazy, so pretty cool to see all this stuff again. It's been a long time coming. You might be like, look at all this stuff. You know, and, and like, so whether I just showed this straight clip, yeah. you know, either... So this is what they're calling Bourbon Street. It's obviously like very well decorated. There's Scott, decorated, lit up. Pretty cool. It's a, they have definitely kind of a multicultural dynamic going on by section by section here in the mall. So West Edmonton Mall, definitely a thing you need to check out when you're in Edmonton and or Alberta.